this is a clip of Fox PC running Android, Jelly Bean and Debian based LXDE distribution. Control Alt F7 will switch between Android and LXDE. There's also a panel icon that you can click to switch to Android. Android is still booting up. The file system is shared between Android and LXDE. So with your file manager, you can, for example, browse SD card. Here's a video clip that I can play with Android application. I can do the same on LXDE. Here is the same video clip and I'm playing that with M player application. Let us look at some of the applications. It's a Chromium web browser, which is an open source browser. Here is a LibreOffice office suite. Here is a PDF viewer. On the Android side, we have installed YouTube, so would you, would you like to make the wager with me tonight, or are you going to avoid well, I'm not, I'm not a, uh, a wager guy. Except for milkshakes. I know who goes for the dollar. The basketball. As this video is playing, you can always Robert. switch to Debian. The video playback is not affected by the switch. Let's play some Netflix videos. Let me briefly talk about the technology. There are other implementation of Linux on Android where they use a VNC viewer to display graphics. In our implementation, we are 
not dependent on Android. The LXD graphics is implemented by its own graphics drivers. This means we can pretty much stop Android if you want to. For example, right now with several Android applications loaded, you can see the memory usage is 378 megabytes. We can stop Android. And the memory usage goes to 115 megabytes. It's really nothing running on the Android side. We can start Android up again. And we can see that Android processes are booting up. So uh, really there is no disadvantage in running both Android and LXD. Both run at native speeds. There's a slight increase in memory usage because both processes are loaded up in memory but you can control that by either stopping Android if you want to, if you're not running any Android applications. You can also log out of LXDE and have only Android running. You can click this to log out. So you get the benefit of both Android and Debian. Android has got a lot of applications, very good games, good video playback. Debian has got a lot of desktop style application and because of its heritage in Unix, a lot of scientific applications, a lot of development tools for different programming languages.